Hey, thanks a lot, everyone, for taking the time to subscribe, for checking out the research. Thanks for stopping by, and to all of you guys and gals that have been here since a few years now, really want to thank you all. Thanks for the support. Um, yada, 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 right? It just, it's never ending. I could never thank you guys uh, enough. So this is the moon of December 4th, yesterday, and now we're in a plunge plunged into a snowstorm right now. I'll get some music up with this. We'll uh, stop and pause um, the music so that I can talk to you about certain uh, areas where I believe are constructed areas. We're going to the Apollo 11 landing site. I'm going to put up an annoying uh, sheet of light over the image and we can see certain squares popping up where they would have declared landing. Hmm. Should I show it or not? I said, why not? Enjoy. I'll be right with you guys after this. Three very similar to one another lights or bright spots on the surface with the line connected at the back. Don't forget this square over here, but we'll get back to that. Yeah, the line at the back of these three lights. We see this along the Terminator line many a times. Here's another angle. Israel, Beresheet, where they say it would have crashed. Look at the square outline now that we can see the lines crossing over top of it. Very hard and rare to see. Look at the outline of that area really see 90 degree angle cut out areas with the line right over here leading off. Two V-shaped 90 degree angles on the surface not too far from where they declared having landed Apollo 11. Two platform like or covers hiding a part of the surface. We're gonna go right to the declared spot they said they had landed, put a light screen over top of the image and you will see what appears. There's that V-shaped angle close up. I don't think anybody really knows how many craters exactly are on the moon. We hear many different um, numbers, but I'll tell you what, there are definitely, my guess, hundreds of thousands of craters. And if we are seeing the larger craters having constructed objects in it, imagine the possibilities. The smaller the craters get, the closer we would have to get to see them. So the ones um, that we are seeing right now is nothing. There are hundreds of thousands of craters on the moon. Now bear with me, I'm using the word crater because it's the word that the world knows. Do I think they're creators? Nope. Apollo 11 declared landing site. We're gonna go see with the light screen, something very strange on the surface. And again, it's recurring. It's something I've showed you over and over, time and time again in my research. So where they landed by applying a layer of light over the image, it's actually in the same image frame. It's not another layer. It's actually a filter of light, simple, straight up. Look at the square. You see it? And there's another black spot on the other side of those craters, and that's exactly where they would have declared landing. Just to tell you once again, as compared to the Apollo 15, I showed Dennis Delano. Also, he had asked me to go and see, and we saw another black platform like or area.
no doubt about it, as hard as it is to see, we're going to zoom into this crater and look at all the lines and construction that's been done around it. Several different events and different times you can tell very easily.